Kyle Busch, and he drove the number $51 General Toyota to Victory Lane tonight for the fourth annual UNOH 225 NASCAR Camping World uh, Truck Series race here at Kentucky Speedway. Uh, this is Kyle's fifth win in 2014 in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Milestone 40th victory tonight in the uh, NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. And Toyota continues to uh, impress. impress, thank you very much, impress uh, across, the, uh, across the sport. This is its 10th straight win in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, dating back to Eric Jones's win at Phoenix last November. And this is the longest active streak, um, active win streak by any manufacturer in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. So continued congratulations to uh, Toyota and Kyle and Eric Phillips, crew chief. And then finally, Kyle had a perfect driver rating of 150.0, which is uh, about it's as good as you can get when you're running a race. So congratulations, Kyle. Talk about running here at Kentucky Speedway, certainly a place that, uh, that you've uh, come to, to master across all three national series and and just you know talk about how you're how you're performing in the camping world truck series this year it's it's uh, nothing short of uh, dominant well thank you tonight was uh tonight was great it's just a great opportunity to drive good equipment and good stuff and i'm uh, really proud that uh, my name's on the door but most and proud with uh eric phillips and all the guys everyone at cobblish motorsports all the hard work and dedication and everything they've done to build really good trucks and um, you know they've done a great job for me so uh, you know it's been neat to see Eric Jones and, and Daryl Wallace running pretty well as well too and uh, seeing Daryl come home second tonight was was pretty great uh, especially him getting back in traffic like we both were and being able to methodically work his way back up to to get the second place so um, you know it, I think it says a lot about our company I think it says a lot about where we've come from and uh, hopefully where we're going you know and what we've been able to accomplish not only last season with Eric Jones win at, at Phoenix, but then again this year with Bubba being able to win St. Louis and Eric having some strong runs as well too. So, um, you know, tonight was just another one of those nights. Love coming to Kentucky Speedway. It's been a good track for me over the years. And, um, you know, 930 didn't strike again tonight uh, like it has in the past couple years. So, uh, you know, that was good. Eric made some good changes to the truck and, and kept up with the racetrack all night. So, um, you know, all I had to do is do my part. Eric Phillips, just talk about what it's like to be able to know when you get to a racetrack, unload an excellent piece of equipment, know you have one of the finest, if not the finest driver uh, that's, that's ever raced in this series and, and quite possibly, obviously, one of the best drivers in the, in the sport right now, driving that piece of equipment once you get it off the race, uh, off, the, off the truck. Um, it just brings a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, you have a lot of confidence when you get in the gate um, and know when you're coming to the racetrack with, with everybody we got at KBM right now. Uh, you know, obviously Kyle's the, the kingpin part of the whole organization because he's a, our boss and owner um, and, and, and our driver. But, uh, you know, everybody at KBM is doing a great job. Um, you know, as fast as we've been all year, we keep working. Uh, we changed a bunch of stuff this morning before practice even started um, off of some stuff we learned uh, from some of the nationwide stuff yesterday. So. Um, we just keep working. Um, you know, we don't rest on our laurels. Uh, the guys will go back to work tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon and, and get this apart and start working. Uh, we're going to go test for Eldora here in a couple of days and uh, get ready to go to Iowa. Good deal. We'll take some questions now for Kyle or Eric. Questions? Stan and then Chris. Stan Creekmore with RPMTonight.com. Kyle. Was there anything that you learned today in in all in everything that you were doing th that that made you able to handle the bumps that everybody talks about here better than you have in the past? Or, or, or? Um, yeah, I mean, there's certainly things that you get an opportunity to learn every chance you make laps around here. So uh, essentially, tonight I really try to just hone in on um, what the biggest issues I was fighting it whether the issue was really small I just kind of tried to hone in on those and um, entry to turn three being loose especially in traffic is a big issue and then there there's some bumps that you go right over in um, in the middle of three and four and you can miss them if you move six inches this way or you can hit them if you move six inches that way so 
Um, you know, I was definitely playing around with that, just trying to see where they were and see how I can miss them. And um, judging my entry off that and playing with traffic, racing around traffic, seeing if I could miss them. And there's also a damp spot off turn four. Um, you know, there's a weeper over there that just weeps all day, all night, you know, the whole time. So you got to be conscious of that as well, too. So uh, those things are just the opportunities that I get to go out there and, and hone in on and fine tune with in order to get my nationwide car set up right in order to get over those pieces of racetrack better. And same thing with my cup car. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's always beneficial. I mean, I've always said I like being able to get out there and race and just sit on the motor home and watch or sit in the motor home and watch, you know? So, um, it also helps too when, you know, my nationwide car, we had a test day here yesterday and we struggled really bad and Eric was there and we were talking with Eric and, and Adam Stevens and we were just trying to figure some things out to make my nationwide car better. And he goes to work and changes everything on the truck before we even unload today for our practice, you know, and then everything we learned from that and how good our truck was, we put back to the nationwide car and made our nationwide car way better for tonight, for tonight's practice. So, um, you know, all that stuff translates a little bit. I mean, there are fundamentals that translate. I mean, obviously numbers and setup in this spring and that exact spring don't correlate, but, um, you know, we definitely share some information and I was most impressed with, with Eric being able to help out the nationwide car here this weekend. Chris. Chris Lane, Escar Wire Service. Kyle, um, can you talk about being the first KBM 1-2 finish? It was a strong day for KBM as a whole. Got the pole, your first pole at Kentucky. Led a lot of laps. Bubble led some laps. He was really inside the top two all night. Strong night for KBM as an organization. It was. Uh, really proud of that. I think it's a great testament to um, you know everything that we've gone for and strived for. And Eric's been able. He's been here since the beginning. So. I give a lot of credit to Eric and the team that he's built. We've had a lot of change over over the years, but um, you know, having him as as the core, I think, has been really good for us. And uh, it's neat for Samantha and I to be able to have a smile on our face after these races, be qualifying one two and finishing one two. Uh, I think I was more pumped for having a one two finish than I was for winning, honestly. You know, and really excited for Daryl and um, you know coming in to Victory Lane tonight. I just I told Daryl thank you, you know, and. I'm his owner, so uh, you know it's a little backwards, but uh, just appreciate the way he drove tonight and fought hard, and um, you know didn't get too agitated when he was back in traffic and make a mistake. Second win at Kentucky, second win with Dollar General, a couple hours up the road in Tennessee, big night for them. They come back, you know, for a couple races this year. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, Dollar General has been a huge supporter of ours since the beginning. Uh, Rick Dryling and Laura Rutledge and Todd Vasis, all the guys over there that do such a great job helping us out and putting this program together and it, it wouldn't be possible without m and support. Um, you know, m and is a, is a part of it as well too and that's why they're on the tailgate. So uh, it's just special to um, continue on the relationship that we have over the years with Dollar General and um, you know, to have m and help that as well too. Obviously they, they try to help us succeed at KBM as much as possible. So it's been good.